Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and you're joining us for our Predict 2023 series. With me now to share his forecast for the year ahead is Dal Sahota from LexisNexis Risk Solutions. Dal, it's lovely to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Hannah. Thanks for having me back. Really good to have you on. And yes, we'll be hearing about your predictions specifically um, around payment trends for the year ahead, but we'll also be speaking of the back of your recent uh, report, The True Impact of Failed Payments, which will help give a forecast for cross-border account-to-account payments, uh, APIs, but also what impact that's having on businesses' strategies going forward. So a really interesting one. So uh, we'll talk about that, but first, give us the headlines. What are those payment trends we should be looking out for? We're well, centre around five. So number one is uh, digital transformation, which is running full steam ahead, shifting through the gears post-pandemic, mm -hmm. just the acceleration of velocity is going to continue. Number two really centres uh, around the customer. So the customer remains supreme, um, staying ahead and continuously delivering a world-class customer experience uh, as part and parcel of the trends. Number three, um, we see data enhancements around payment flows, really benefiting FAML use cases, so mm -hmm. fraud, AML prevention, seeing that as a trend. Uh, number four, the end-to-end -end adoption of payment platforms, playing out as part of that digital, digital transformation strategy. Mm -hmm. And number five, which is really top of mind, is the impact of failed payments across the globe. And that's been the focus of your recent global report, hasn't it? So let's talk more about that. What was the thinking behind the research? What did you set out uh, to find? And were there any surprises along the way? What were the key takeaways? So one of the biggest surprises um, we saw was the STP rates, 26%, which is really, really low. So right. what that really means is the payment journeys are not end-to-end, -end, seamless, continuous friction is, is preventing higher STP rates. Mm -hmm. So that was a big surprise. Yeah. I think that has a natural knock-on effect. So respondents um, seeing it very much you know, knock-on effect to customer retention. That really came through with 47% of customers referencing that as a, as a key aspect to retaining customers. 49% of customers really responding back to seeing that as having a knock-on effect to the bottom line. So in terms of impact on cost, that was a key aspect for that research. And really part and parcel of re this research is really get close to our customers. Mm -hmm. So we, we sense uh, and see from the respondents with 60% really wanting to move the dial in terms of digital transformation. That was a key need. 60% of our respondents really cited that as a critical key driver uh, for 2023. So understanding those trends, taking that back into our product design mm -hmm. and delight aspect of where we want to delight customers, it really ensures we create that feature set and products which achieve product market fit for our customers. All right, so those are some really significant uh, figures you've shared with us there. And another aspect that's really front of mind uh, for the banks, corporates and payment service providers is that um, importance of safe payment verification. So let's talk a bit about uh, that. Tell us why is that front of mind and explain to us what are the risks involved? Yeah, I think really what we've seen during the pandemic, post-pandemic and even prior to the pandemic is authorised push payment fraud. Uh, that's continually risen and the acceleration around that rise you know, stems from the pandemic and yeah. post-pandemic activity. So really safe payment verification is really centred around preventing um, authorised push payment fraud. So when you're sending money domestically or cross-border, you know at the point of raising and generating that payment instruction, you know who you're paying absolutely. So at that point of entry, you know with greater confidence you're paying authentic, genuine and recipient of funds. All right, so that's an important trend to look out for. And I know you wanted to touch on um, the progress around APIs, so let's uh, end on that. How do you see that space evolving going into 2023? Yeah, twofold. So um, you know, in terms of what we're doing around safe payment verification, we're launching something very, very soon this quarter. Uh, and we're running some aspects in our research development to expand that. Some, some really exciting aspects coming down the line. 
centers around APIs um, and I would say equally around cloud technology. Mm -hmm. So APIs and cloud technology are going hand in hand to accelerate and help customers and the market um, achieve that goal around digital transformation. Essentially means that from a feature set and delivering value to solve customer problems, it can be done much, much seamlessly. Mm -hmm. And as the market is digitalizing and transforming, it has to deal with um, a history, a legacy of infrastructure and architecture. And it's these APIs, it's this cloud technology that creates that simplification to create a, a, a better path to achieve that, that transformation. Because essentially APIs, you can, see, you can see them, they are seamless, they run in the background. Mm -hmm. So to some users, it's oblivious. So the technology is very centre and front of mind, but it enables the speed of that transformation to happen um, in reality, day in, day out, uh, and as we progress forward into 2023 and beyond. So watch this space. Really interesting to hear what LexisNexis risk solutions are doing in that space as well. And thank you for sharing us uh, those details about the research. I urge those viewers listening in to go to that research if they want to learn more. But Dal, we'll leave it there today. Thank you very much for coming and speaking with us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Hannah.